Oh, this is good. It's like a cake. Aloha, everyone. This is Lenora, Hawaii's Pickle Lady. Today, I have some very exciting news for you. Thanks to all of you who have been so conscious in subscribing to my channel and commenting and all of that, I have now reached over 3,000 subscribers. And this is only in a very short time. I'm giving away uh, an air fryer, something really special that everybody can use, whether you're a teenager, um, an adult, or you know you you never tried this before. Air air fryer is amazing. Almost every household has it now. And in order to qualify for this drawing, you have to be a subscriber and comment on this particular video, and. Remember, I'm not sponsored by anyone. This uh, is, comes out of my own pocket as, as a thank you to all of you for subscribing. So now, let's continue with the video. So I have here the butter. It's softened and I'm gonna beat it. Now, remember this uh, butter if you don't have it softened, like here in Las Vegas is very cold. So even if I leave it out at room temperature for a long time, it still is kind of hard. So you can put it in a microwave, but not in a metal bowl. I put it in a regular ceramic bowl, a porcelain bowl or glass. And then I microwave it for maybe like 15 to 20 seconds. You don't want it melted, you just want it softened, okay? So you're gonna beat it up and you can see how nice and fluffy this is. Now I'm gradually gonna add the sugar. So you gradually add the sugar because you don't want it to clump up all at once. Now once it's mixed, it looks kind of mealy, but now I'm gonna add the eggs and then it'll all come together really nicely. So the eggs one at a time. So I'm gonna add in another egg. And if two eggs go in at a time, it's okay. So it's getting a lot, lot softer. And now the last egg goes in. And you can see how smooth the batter is becoming. And you see how creamy it is? Really nice. Now I'm going to add in uh, the vanilla, sour cream, and milk. So all the liquids are beaten on high. Pour in the sour cream. Now I'm cleaning the side of the bowl because you see all the batter is stuck and I want it mixed in really good. Then we're gonna mix it again on high. Okay, next I'm gonna add some milk. And if you don't have regular milk, you can use like almond milk or coconut milk, something like that. So this one here, I'm using almond milk. I'm gonna give it a quick mix. Now I'm taking care of the dry ingredients. So first of all, I have flour. And then I'm gonna pour in some baking powder. Now pour in the baking soda. Next is the salt. Next, I just stir up the dry ingredients together. Now I'm gonna add in the dry ingredients, but before I do this, I wanna tell you that to save some time, like say you're really busy at night and you wanna have something hot in the morning for breakfast, you can make the dough and then cover it and refrigerate it. And the next morning, then you put it in the muffin tins and you bake it and it'll be just as good. So these muffins are not only for breakfast, but you can eat it any time of the day. The kids, you can give it to them for snacks. When your husband comes home for dinner, you know, you can give some to your friends any time. This is really good. And uh, the blueberries today are fresh, but if you don't have access to blueberries, like I know in Hawaii, we don't have any blueberries fresh too much. So you can buy it frozen. So this works too. So now I'm gonna gradually add some flour, maybe in about four parts. And this time on low speed. 
because you don't want it to splash all over the place. Okay, another portion. And then a little bit more. So it's pretty fast to make. And you can also do it on a stand mixer. Like I have a KitchenAid that'll save a lot of time, but I decided to use the hand mixer. So the last portion of flour or dry ingredients. So now I'm cleaning the bowl because all that flour is not mixed in really good. So just scrape it a little bit and then I'm gonna give it one final mix with the beater on low. Now I'm gonna take the beaters off and I'm gonna mix the blueberries in by hand because I don't want it to crush. Now these blueberries are fresh. You see how nice and plump they are? But if you don't have access to fresh blueberries and you have to buy the frozen blueberries, be sure you don't thaw out the, the blueberries all the way because all the water will come out. So I would just let it, uh, you can actually put it in frozen and then the blueberries will keep the shape because once you start mixing, it'll get all mushed up and you want it to be as plump as possible. So I'm gonna be folding it in with the spoon. Now I'm using my spatula and I'm folding the blueberries in carefully so you don't break it up. Let me clean this spatula out a little bit. And this is really easy when you do it in the muffin tins because it saves you a lot of time in cleanup. Now I have this big ice cream scoop. It's like a standard ice cream scoop. It's a lot easier to use this rather than two spoons because it'll get all over the place. So I just scoop, drop this in and just keep on going till you fill them all up. Depends how big your scoop is. The rise maybe a little. Now, these are ready to go. The oven is preheated to 350 and it didn't quite make 24. So I had two empty uh, pans. So what you do is you put a little bit of water, maybe about uh, a third of an inch of water, because if you don't, it'll probably burn. So the oven is on right now. So put the last one in. And these will bake for 25 to 30 minutes. So see you then. Okay, the muffins are out. They're very soft. And actually I left it in for 30 minutes. And I thought it wasn't done, but when I poked it, it was done. Now, you can't really see the blueberries on the top, but you see when I peel it open, you can see all the blueberries inside and you can see how juicy and moist it is all around. So easy to eat and it's best when it's hot. So I'll taste it and see. Mm. It's very tender and moist. Blueberries are really juicy and good. And remember, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we make good videos like this one. And don't forget to subscribe and comment on this particular video because remember I'm giving a uh, air fryer and um, Hope that you'll be a lucky winner. Thank you for watching. Mahalo. Oh, this is good. It's like a cake.